Hey YouTube, just wanted to take a couple minutes and chat about some of my favorite arborist climbing lines. So um, I'll get right into it. One of my favorites here is Teufelberger Ecstatic. It's a 32 strand kermail rope with a nylon and polyester core. This is a great rope for all things uh, SRS or SRT, whatever you would want to call it. Great for long ascents. It doesn't pick easily with uh, tooth ascenders like your foot and knee ascender and is great on a lot of mechanical devices and um, really don't have anything bad to say about this rope. This cover stays in place really well and is uh, pretty good for a smooth retrieval when you have a few redirects that you're going to pull out when you're done with the big climb. So it's a great all-around rope. Definitely recommend it for uh, single line application. Uh, the next one up is I'm going to talk about Yale Bifrost. It's 11 millimeter rope um, through Yale cordage. This is specifically sold at Westbur in uh, Washington and uh, it's one of my new favorites. Uh, I've always been a fan of Kernmaster but since they came out with uh, this version along with Phantom being a all polyester construction gives a little bit more static ascent and uh, but the same feel of Kernmaster in the hand. So great knotability. And also they added um, inside this rope a red core to, uh, to know that when inspecting, if you see it, uh, red is no go. So super cool. I love this rope. Great for mechanical devices, smooth on ascent in the cover. Um, does a good job staying in place. And it's a really cool color. So there's that. Next up is uh, Teufelberger Drenaline. This is 11.8 millimeter uh, rope from Teufelberger and it was designed along with Ecstatic um, for this to be the option for both moving rope systems and uh, stationary rope systems. So. Uh, I don't personally climb on the Petzl Zigzag, but I know uh, many people that do love this rope specifically for the Zigzag, but it can also be used with a rope wrench and Presic and do, um, do great. So this is an overall great workhorse rope um, to have in the field for both applications, single line and moving rope. And uh, one thing you'll just want to watch out for is the cover on this, uh, meaning this colored part right here, it does milk uh, pretty easy once uh, put under consistent tension. So you would wanna leave one side open uh, to be able to uh, let that stretch out over time and to cut that excess um, cover off. Uh, one thing that's cool about this rope as well is that it can be used in the uh, SP Life program that Teufelberger has that uh, trained individuals can uh, splice a really tight eye uh, so that this fits on Things like the Fimble Saver, or Fitz 3 rather, the Fimble Saver and Pulley Saver and um, Friction Savers alike. So this is a great rope all around. Uh, next up, we've got Blue Moon. This is uh, one of the most popular ropes in tree care. Uh, it is the probably one of the most famous workhorse ropes to have in the field. It's a classic. Uh, double braid rope, 24 strand, great for both moving rope and stationary rope systems. And uh, I've always had a section of this on me, whether it be uh, Blue Moon, uh, I have Calamine now, but uh, Blue Moon, Calamine, Poison Ivy, there's lots of names for it, but this is an overall great rope if you're uh, trying to find that go-to rope to have in your kit. This will definitely be one that's uh, it's good. Even in a long ascent, um, it's only got a 1.7, I think, uh, elongation, so still great for uh, applications in single line. Only thing is, is that sometimes this can, uh, this outside cover um, can bend a little bit with mechanical devices, but still uh, great rope. I definitely would advise. And uh, last but not least, one of my classics is uh, Yale Kern Master. This is the polyester and nylon uh, version of Kern Master. 
the original. And this is gonna have 3% stretch or elongation, so a little bit more than the Bifrost, but this will be great for uh, most of the time stationary rope systems, but also could be used in a moving rope system. Uh, I would just advise that you use a friction saver to help protect the current manual core of this rope. But this comes in a lot of colors and probably one of my favorite parts is the just the knotability and the feel, very supple rope. So uh, definitely would advise this if you're looking for maybe a thinner line that runs well in devices. Um, so uh, yeah, these are some of my favorite ropes for tree care. If I were to kind of make a ranking for them, I would say Ecstatic would be uh, probably my number one. Then I would put uh, Blue Moon up there in that same field. And uh, Bifrost is kind of one of my new favorites. So Twelfelberger Ecstatic, Yale Blue Moon, and Yale Bifrost, probably my three favorite climbing lines uh, at the moment. So uh, feel free to check any of these ropes out and uh, look into getting them. I would say our obsession would carry uh, all of these ropes besides the Yale Bifrost, which is only sold through Westbur. But uh, both are great equipment uh, shops and great people. So uh, check them out and uh, hope you guys enjoy this video. Like and subscribe if you'd like to see more. Thanks.